Today we're going to take a look at a three-dimensional model of a typical animal cell and all of its organelles. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is only a model of a cell and is not necessarily an accurate representation of what you might find under a microscope. Cells are so small, unique, and complex that it is almost impossible to know exactly what each one might look like. Surrounding the outside of the cell is the cell membrane, which is sometimes also referred to as the plasma membrane. This membrane is extremely thin and is usually only about one one thousandth of a millimeter thick. The cell membrane acts as a barrier between the cell and its surrounding environment. The plasma membrane is a semi-permeable membrane, meaning that only certain materials can pass through it. Substances such as food particles and oxygen can pass into the cell through the membrane to be used as a type of fuel for cellular energy. Other substances are transported out of the cell through the membrane including waste products such as carbon dioxide gas. Inside the plasma membrane is the cellular space known as the cytoplasm, which contains tiny cell structures called organelles. The main and arguably the most important organelle inside the cell is the nucleus, which serves as a type of control or command center for the cell. The nucleus has its own semi-permeable membrane known as the nuclear envelope, which contains pores that allow certain molecules to pass through. Inside the nucleus are structures called chromosomes. Chromosomes are made of DNA and contain the genetic information of the cell. This information serves as a blueprint for the creation of proteins. Proteins are responsible for the physical features of an organism such as skin color, height, and eye color. Proteins are also responsible for traits such as allergies. Also contained inside the nucleus is a structure called the nucleolus. The nucleolus is responsible for the production of ribosomes, which we'll talk more about later. The endoplasmic reticulum, commonly abbreviated ER, is a network of membranous sacs and tubes that serves multiple functions inside the cell. The ER serves as a sort of assembly line where proteins are put together using the genetic blueprints from the chromosomes. It also serves as a sort of highway that allows a transportation network between different organelles in the cell, allowing them to exchange materials. Cells contain what is called a smooth ER and a rough ER. The difference between the two is that the rough ER is studded with ribosomes, while a smooth ER is not. So now that you've heard so much about ribosomes, let's talk about what ribosomes actually are and their role inside the cell. Ribosomes are small molecules that synthesize proteins. They can be found bound to the rough ER or simply floating in the cell's cytoplasmic space. Ribosomes read the genetic information contained in RNA in order to create functional proteins. Mitochondria serve as the powerhouses for the cell because they provide the cell with energy in the form of ATP. Cellular respiration takes place in these organelles. During cellular respiration, oxygen is used to burn particles of food in order to produce ATP. The number of mitochondria in a particular cell varies depending on the activity level of the cells. For example, highly active cells such as muscle cells contain higher amounts of mitochondria than most other cells. Before food can be processed by these mitochondria, these particles need to be processed by organelles called lysosomes. Lysosomes contain digestive enzymes that serve as a type of garbage disposal for the cell. Lysosomes break down older cell products as well as waste materials. These organelles are also responsible for engulfing harmful viruses or bacteria. The Golgi apparatus serves as the cell's packaging center. Here, cell products are synthesized, modified, and sorted into bubble-like containers that break away and move to the plasma membrane where their contents are released from the cell to the surrounding environment. The centrosome is the organelle that is responsible for the formation of microtubules. Microtubules provide physical support for the cell and help to give the cell its shape. Microtubules also play a crucial role in cell division or mitosis. Peroxisomes are organelles involved in cellular metabolic processes. These structures contain enzymes necessary for breaking down molecules such as long-chain fatty acids 
branched fatty acids, and amino acids. Peroxisomes convert long fatty acids into shorter fatty acids, which can then be sent to mitochondria to be used as a type of fuel for the production of ATP.